Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Yes. Uh, good morning to all of you. And you're welcome to Tofnaj Farms. Yes. Uh, this is vegetable farm, of course. Uh, uh, we have been able to produce about three different crops. Uh, we have cabbages. We have um, pepper as well as uh, watermelon. But the special grace of Allah, um, today being our first harvest for the cabbage um, so far this is what we have been able to do and uh, little by little whatever you are doing you put prayers first then you also put in hard work uh, we are just harvesting to see whether inshallah we'll get some market at the Tumu um, uh, market uh, as you could see these are some of the cabbages the harvest we have made so far you see this is one of it and then uh, we have them in different sizes actually and as uh, it is uh, each particular size and how much it goes for you could also see another size yeah this is how it is uh, and currently as it stands i believe inshallah the price we can get about three four cds two cds depending on the size of the cabbage um like I said, no job is easy. Whatever you are doing, you attach seriousness to it. Whatever you are doing, you attach commitment. Whatever you are doing, you have to be consistent. And you need to also be resilient in what you do. Do not give up. Um, whatever problems you find in your field of work, consider it to be a challenge. And once you take it to be a challenge, surely you overcome it but if you compound it and make it a problem it becomes more problematic and becomes very difficult for you to solve there is one one thing that i would like to share which actually i picked from one of these renowned and revered you know people in the world which is robert kiyosaki he said <clears throat> a rich man sports opportunities poor people also sport opportunities but they hate it and pretend not to see it to be opportunity once opportunity comes your way and you are a poor man you see it not to be an opportunity you pretend and you hide it but the rich man whatever opportunity they see will be a little or very big they see it as such and they work towards it so all I would like to put across to all of us is that let us not see farming to be a dirty work, to be primitive work, to be a disadvantage or less privileged work for people who are involved in it. And with consistency, hard work, commitment, surely you shall overcome. And whatever, you know, steps you take, once the challenges come, you confront them, try to find solutions to them as quickly as possible. And once you are in it regularly, consistently, you shall see the challenges and surely the solutions will come. So that the next time you are venturing into that particular work, you would be able to get an appropriate solution to that problem because you've ever faced it. But if you face it today, assuming you have invested, uh, say, 10,000 into the farming, and at the end of the day, uh, your harvest, that is... The profit you have even made, or you have not even made profit, you have not even sold up to the capital you invested. And you are pushed off and you say, oh, I have to stop the farming. It means you are doing waste to yourself. But what you could do is that you don't put up a farm that you can manage. Put a farm that your resources will work it. Your resources will match it. With that, I believe you are going to make a lot of gains. Either than doing much, than you can manage and take care of. Inshallah, this is just the first time of the cabbage. And as you could see, as we are harvesting, we also still have very younger ones here. And sooner than later, they shall also be ready. But I believe, Inshallah, if you should compare these younger ones with what we are harvesting, the management that we have given these, uh, those we are harvesting have not seen that because that was our first time. But this time, we have actually um, adopted certain solutions to the problems that we faced and for that matter you could see they are about three weeks old but then they grew 
is very good they are growing so well and by the special grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we believe we'll make ends meet and we are going to be successful and it has always been uh, problematic when you see certain vegetable crops like tomatoes cabbage onions uh, watermelon which in Tumu Sala East, we could equally produce because we have the land and the lands are very fertile. And we have some water body, but you know, surprisingly, these crops I have mentioned, a lot of them are being brought from Leo, Burkina Faso, which is very pathetic. Uh, when you sit down and look at it, it becomes so sorrowful such that comparatively our land with their land, we have very fertile land and them, yet they are able to produce in larger quantity to supply the people and even transfer some to us. So why don't we take up the advantage? The youth, instead of we being engaged in dirty politics, politicizing, saying there's no job, waiting on the government to give you white color jobs, why not take an opportunity? Take an advantage on your side. Start something little. Put seriousness, inshallah, you shall see the success of it at the end of the day. I wouldn't like to waste much time because we have much to do for the day. I'll leave it here and inshallah, I will urge all the youths to take up an initiative of building your life, of building whatever you are in doing. So until we meet again, I'll say assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.